I don't have any problem with anybody in PF, Boma and Losambo. I no longer have any problem with them. My goal was to remove them from power. And I did it. And that's all. Kwasila. I've achieved my aim. Kwasila. Next time, like now, they, for them or for anyone from them to come and take over power again, they must now understand to say, mm -mm, we need the help of Siawa. And when they come, I will help them. In politics, there is no permanent enemy. I told you, I am a politician. I may be laughing with you today. Tomorrow. Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean from start to finish to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. People were waiting to see if CR1 was powerful or not. So imagine if I just stopped from nowhere. Then I told them, if you want me to stop. During the 9 p.m. news, national news, I don't know if it's 9 p.m., uh, uh, 19 hours news in Zambia, the president, then President Ed Galungu, must interrupt the news. In the middle of the news, he must apologize to me. I told them, and I told them the amount of money that uh, that uh, uh, they must pay me. I wrote all those things and gave to my government. And I think because they had pride then, they, how can a whole president apologize to Siawan? Who is Siawan? They didn't do it. I proceeded. When I continued preaching and the speaking and fighting, from South Africa, I started receiving threat from the Nigerian embassy in South Africa. That's how I left South Africa to come to Nigeria and finish what I started. Nigeria is a federated country. There is federal government that oversees all the state governments. When I arrived here in Nigeria, my I was protected, felt relaxed by my state government. That was how now I managed to finish the battle that I started with the PF. This was how I came back from South Africa. There is no there is no single case against CA1 in South Africa. I was not deported. From then, I've been to South Africa several times to meet our chairman. I've, several times I've been to South Africa. If you want, the next time I'm going to South Africa, I will make it public, even at the airport. I don't have case with anybody. I don't have case with South African government. I came back because my life, my work was under threat. You can see when you are fighting a government of a country in another man's country you can see how difficult it is so i prefer to fight the government from my own state government and we fought and we won that was how i decided to stay back in nigeria and proceed nothing nothing else my church in in south africa is still going very very well they receive they do as i said the same miracles that we perform here is still there is the same miracle that is performed there The same. So that's how I left South Africa and came to Nigeria. I don't have case with anybody. Even all the issues, or if most of the things that you hear about CR1, sometimes I don't respond. I just take it the way it is. I say, ah, that is how it is. I forget it. If not, I don't have case with anybody. Even in Zambia, I didn't have case with anybody. If you accuse Siawan to say, okay, Siawan was, a, he did this. 
Alternatively, CA1 was supposed to be arrested, persecuted, and put in prison, not deportation. How can somebody do defilement in your country, which is a very big case, and you deport, deport him? How can somebody uh, sleep with boys, young boys, in your country, which is defilement, a very serious defilement, and you put him on the plane and send him away? Uh, if it's like that, then everybody would commit crime anywhere. Uh, if you stay in a country, are tired of staying in that country, you commit crime, they deport you. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you've seen where it goes. So I didn't. Even those things, I see, I want this, see, I want that. I look at them, I laugh. I pick fight. There are some I want to talk you know, they raise fight. They talk, I respond. They talk, I respond. I don't want to attack them spiritually because if I attack them spiritually, I will not be entertained. There are some of my enemies that I see as entertainment. When they write something about me, when they say something about me, when I read it, I feel happy. When, 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 I'm, when I'm, I'm sad, when I'm low in thinking, when I read what they write or hear what they say, I feel happy. That's why I keep them. I don't attack them. I don't attack everybody. But I've mentioned some of the people that I've attacked. Check their lives and see for yourself. So this is how um, this is how I came back from South Africa to Nigeria. Right now, I don't have any problem with the PF. I don't have any problem with Eddie Galungu. I don't have any problem with anybody in PF, Boma and Lusambo. I no longer have any problem with them. My goal was to remove them from power. And I did it. And that's all. Kwasila. I've achieved my aim. Kwasila. Next time, like now, they, for them or for anyone from them to come and take over power again. They must now understand to say, mm -mm, we need the help of CIA. And when they come, I will help them. In politics, there is no permanent enemy. I told you, I am a politician. I may be laughing with you today. Tomorrow, you choose to be greedy. You choose to behave like you are wiser than CIA. I turn against you. We may be laughing today. Tomorrow, we are enemies. That is politics. It's only a fool that make permanent enemy in politics. I don't. If I've achieved my goal, we have removed PF from power. Why must I make them my enemy? They will need my help. Even now, most UPND press singers that don't know what is going on on the background. Ah, see how one, see how one is this, see how one is that. No. If I decide, if I finalize with the opposition and say, okay, we are removing UPN. We remove UPN in 2026. In 2030, maybe that opposition will come and misbehave. You will still run back to CIA to say CIA to help us. There is no permanent enemy and friend in politics. Politics is not an emotional thing. Politics is uh, you fall for me, I fall for you. Once we catch the meat, you will be eating from your side. I'll be eating from my side. We are going to eat that meat forever and ever. But once you eat from your side, you clean your mouth. Mm, we are not eating. Things are not okay. Eh? Are you eating? See, I want. No, you are not eating. Things are not okay. Eh, wait, everything will be okay in two years' time. Once it happens like that, all of us must stop eating. <laughs> Everyone will stop. You will scatter the food. We tear the food. We destroy the food so that nobody eats the cake. <laughs> National cake is if you eat, I eat. So that's how I I came back from South Africa. But that's not what I want to talk today. I think this what started this issue is because someone asked a question and I needed to clarify this because I've seen so many people say he was deported from South Africa. This and that. No. I was not. I still go to South Africa. I still visit South Africa several times. My chairman, the leader of this group where I am, is actually one of the richest black business owner in something South Africa. Honorable Christopher Yaluma, the former minister of uh, energy and mine in Zambia, 
has seen my chairman before. He has visited my chairman. He has seen his his office in Santa. So South Africa is my home. Just that I don't make noise when I go there because I don't go there for for ministry. I go there for business and politics. Uh, does not mean that I don't go. I'm always there. You can you can ask people. They will tell you that Siawan is always there. See, I was not deported from South Africa, and that from that's how I left. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.